the color of your eyes could actually affect your reading ability. Roughly one out of 10 people around the globe have an eye color that in poetic terms can be likened to the shade of a summer sky, the hue of a tropical ocean, or even the pale tint of flawless cut aquamarine. In some European populations, that fraction can skyrocket to as high as three out of every four individuals. Why this color persists in, competi in competition with the more earthly tones of a darkly pigmented iris has long been a cause for speculation. Now anthropologists in the UK propose blue eyes could have a slight edge under dimly lit conditions. In their preliminary experiment, Kyoko Yamaguchi and her students Faith Erin Kane from Liverpool John Moores University explored the possibility with 39 adult volunteers undergoing a simple 30-second eye test under decreasing intensities of light. Eye colors were self-reported and then verified as blue or brown categories using a recently developed classification guide providing the researchers with 25 people with some grade of blue eyes and 14 with light or dark brown eyes. Once the numbers were crunched, those with bright baby blue eyes could read codes depicted on a wall under significantly less light, a minimum of just 0.7 looks on average, than their brown-eyed peers who averaged a minimum of 0.82 looks. Keeping in mind the study preliminary is preliminary with a relatively small sample size and yet to be peer-reviewed, the experiment's findings support the theory that loss of pigmentation in the iris was a trait selected in some populations to maximize vision in low-light environments. Whether they're hazel with mossy flecks, stormy gray with rims of steel, or verdant with amber rays, all irises consist of a pair of canvases splashed with varying amounts of protein, such as melanin, Liberal doses of the proteins in the overlying canvas darken the eyes. As pigmentation depletes, the scattering of light through the eye's transparent layers gives the iris a bluer hue. Not unlike how light scattered through the atmosphere takes on its familiar sky tones. Of course, it's fair to assume evolution has bestowed us with pigmented irises for a good reason, giving, given those with darker eyes have lower in, in, uh, incidences of conditions like cancer and ma ma macular degeneration, an iris full of melanin is likely to bestow a degree of protection. Around the time humans were starting to settle and figure out this whole farming thing, a mutation occurred in a single individual's copy of a switch for a gene associated with albinism, giving their body an ability to dilute the level of melanin in a very specific location, their eyes. If this genetic change had also occurred in others at that time in history, it's long been lost to evolutionary dead ends. This one event, however, was carried into bloodlines far and wide through the ages and to be found today in hundreds of millions around the globe. Like so many adaptations, the explanation or why this mutation persisted when it, it did is likely to be complex. It may have been associated with prestige or beauty, conferred protection against low moods in dark winter seasons, or simply consumed fewer of the body's resources to construct in hostile conditions where dark eyes were no longer necessary, maybe all of the above. If this study has anything to say, seeing that tiny bit better in a cold twilight world could have tipped the scales, adding to the spectrum of diversity that is the modern human body. The research is available on pre-peer review server BioRxiv, and this is on Science Alert by Mike McRae. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.